Good day. Today we are at nugget number 23 and this is all about the mind. We've already said that the soul consists of the will, the mind and the emotion, of which the will is the strongest and the most controlling one, but the mind is the most determining one. Because the will cannot decide about something and make decisions about something it doesn't know about. So that it is the work of the mind to get all the options on the table. It is the work of the mind to get the relations of the revelations in the spirit into the mind and to process it so that the soul can understand what is going on in the spirit world. That is an enormous important function because the mind receives, receives the revelations that's in the spirit. And, 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 and at the end of the day, it brings us to a place where we can decide what's going on and make our decisions. In 1 Corinthians 14 verse 40, it's saying to us that we must use our mind and we must be mature in our minds. Our minds is there to use. We're not here to supposed to, to, to sidestep our minds. We don't live out of the soul, but we live through the soul. And we need to have a mature soul to release the, the maturity of the spirit world. We need to control and discipline the mind. Because, the, because if we don't do it, the mind will run on its own. Because the mind is the, mind is the key, according to Romans 12, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The mind is a key factor in, in the transformation of man. Thank you very much.